There are hundreds of different breeds of dogs, each having their unique characteristics. Some dogs are very small, some are very fluffy, and others are incredibly dangerous. Here are the top 15 most dangerous dog breeds. Number 15. Alaskan Malamute The Alaskan Malamute is a breed of dog that first originated long before the 19th century and is closely related to the Huskies and Chukotka sled dogs. Typically growing up to 28 inches tall and weighing up to 125 pounds, they have a thick double coat which keeps them warm even in the coldest of conditions, which along with their powerful frames made them ideal for use in the Arctic as a working dog. It's because of their breeding for this use, which means they still retain a number of their original wolf-like urges. They're quite slow learning, so take longer than most breeds to train, and they will often be distracted by small animals and set chase if the opportunity arises. Malamutes are incredibly energetic dogs, too, and if this energy can't be put to positive uses and they aren't taken for long walks every day, it may lead them to become mischievous and aggressive. Number 14. German Shepherd As their name would suggest, German Shepherds originated in Germany in 1899 and were first bred as a working dog. Growing to around 26 inches tall and weighing as much as 88 pounds, their strength and intelligence made them ideal for herding sheep. But in recent times, they have also become a favorite breed for search and rescue, police, and military roles. As with all dogs, the danger posed by German Shepherds completely depends on how they have been trained. And if they were raised in a warm, loving environment, they won't pose a risk at all. They do, however, have a bite force of up to 238 pounds per square inch, which can cause some serious damage if used towards a person. A study in Australia found that German Shepherds were the third most likely to attack humans. But again, this reflects on the way they've been trained more than the breed's natural affinity to aggression. Number 13. Boxer The Boxer is a dog breed that comes from Germany, where they resulted from crossing an old English bulldog and a Bullenweiser. With the recognizable box-shaped heads, they have an extremely powerful bite that's ideal for holding on to something and not letting go. Historically, they were used as guard dogs and are now the 11th most popular breed in the US, where they're often used for the same purpose. The largest will tend to grow to be up to 25 inches tall, and they can weigh anything up to around 75 pounds. They are naturally very energetic and playful, and great companions for the whole family without an aggressive or vicious bone in their body. But those that are kept in uncomfortable environments or are trained to bring out violent tendencies, they can be quite dangerous towards people, particularly those that aren't familiar to them. Number 12. Chow Chow These cute, fluffy dogs are called Chow Chows and originated in China. But don't let their appearance fool you. They can be as strong as any other, and in their native country are known as Shangqiquan, which means puffy lion dog. They are thought to have first been bred at some point between two and 3,000 years ago as war dogs, and ones that were ideal for pulling heavy sleds across long distances. They grow up to 22 inches tall and can weigh as much as 90 pounds, and are very sturdily built with a reported bite force of 220 pounds per square inch. Because of this hereditary history, it's important to continually socialize and train Chow Chows to ensure they don't revert to their core behaviors. In some cases, owning one as a pet may actually increase the price of home insurance because they are considered a high-risk breed and are linked with eight fatalities in the U.S. in the 20 years up to 1998. Despite this, they remain popular household pets with more than 10,000 registered every year in the U.S. alone and several famous people have them, including Janet Jackson, Martha Stewart, and even Sigmund Freud, who reportedly took his with him to every therapy session. Number 11. Tosa Inu The Tosa Inu is a breed that was first bred in Japan in the 19th century. They were a cross between the native Shikoku Inu and several European breeds, and were expressly created for use as fighting dogs. In fact, it's the only breed that's still allowed to be used in Japanese dog fighting to this day, and as you'd expect, this means they can be particularly ferocious. Growing up to 32 inches tall and with a weight of up to 200 pounds, they have a reported bite force as much as 556 pounds per square inch. They are highly regarded in Japan and trained in a way that means they're only a threat to intruders or thieves. But in many countries around the world, ownership is strictly limited because of the risks they pose, especially with inexperienced owners. Number 10. Huskies Huskies are, without a doubt, one of the most stunning-looking breeds of dog, and it's clear to see why they're such a popular choice for a pet. Originally bred in Arctic regions as a work dog that could pull sleds across long distances, they are extremely energetic and strong and as a result require a huge amount of daily exercise. 
Failure to do this can result in them becoming restless, and while they may look cute on the outside, a lack of stimulation can lead to serious behavioral issues. They have a powerful bite force of 320 pounds per square inch. And while this will almost never be used in a vicious way, the large number of huskies that are kept as pets mean that they are considered to be one of the most dangerous breeds. A study conducted in 2012 looked at human injuries and deaths in the U.S. because of dog maulings between 1979 and 1998 and found huskies to be responsible for 12 deaths and hundreds of injuries during that time. It must, of course, be pointed out that these incidents are most likely the result of dogs being trained poorly or being kept in inappropriate environments. But it shows how important it is to take good care of a husky, because otherwise, you might just find yourself living with a potentially dangerous pet. Number 9. Dog du Bordeaux The Dog du Bordeaux, also known as the French Mastiff, is one of the oldest French dog breeds, with first records dating back to the 14th century. Originally bred to work on farms where their muscular bodies proved to be ideal for hauling carts, guarding livestock, and even protecting castles, they typically grow to around 27 inches tall and weigh in excess of 150 pounds. The breed is known for having the largest head in relation to the rest of their body, so it's perhaps no surprise that they also have an extremely powerful bite that's been measured at up to 556 pounds per square inch. Of course, they aren't used as working dogs as much anymore and are instead a popular breed to have around the home. They can be trained easily and tend to slob around all day in the sun and socialize well with all members of the family, including young children and other pets. If, however, they feel under threat or aren't treated well, they're liable to show their strength and lash out, in which case they can be extremely dangerous. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Great Dane Great Danes are one of the most popular and recognizable breeds in the world, and for good reason. Not only are they huge, with some known to grow in excess of 40 inches tall and potentially weighing beyond 180 pounds, but they're extremely intelligent, strong, and fast. The breed originated in Germany in the 18th century, where their characteristics were sought after for hunting. It would be used to chase down bears, boars, and deer, and were the favorite choice of German nobility who would often have them sleep in their bedchambers to protect them from any threats. Great Danes are incredibly loyal dogs and will go to extremes to look after their family, but with such power and strength, it's vital that any owner spends time to socialize and train them properly, because the last thing you want is an antisocial one. They have a bite force of 238 pounds per square inch, which may not be as powerful as some other breeds. But when this is combined with their weight and size, their approach can be overwhelming. For this reason, they'll need a lot of attention, otherwise they'll get bored. But if they're looked after correctly, they'll become gentle giants and a wonderful addition to the family. Number 7. King Corso Originating in southern Italy, King Corsos are huge dogs that, because of their power and ruthlessness, are often used as guard dogs, for law enforcement, as personal protection, and as trackers. Growing to 28 inches tall, weighing as much as 110 pounds, with a bite force of up to a whopping 700 pounds per square inch. The temperament of a cane corso will completely depend on how it's been trained. Some are kept as family pets and are the friendliest dogs imaginable, while others are used specifically for fighting or protection. And these ones won't think twice about attacking something or someone that's unfamiliar to them. There was a time in the late 20th century when it was feared that cane corsos would become extinct because of the lack of demand for them, but in recent years they've become popular once again and are now the 40th most common breed in the U.S. If you're looking for a loyal companion that will protect your home and your family, then a cane corso would be ideal. But you must make sure there's plenty of space around your home for them to exercise and release their energy, because if they get bored, they are prone to behavioral issues. Number 6. Rottweiler Rottweilers have been around for hundreds if not thousands of years, with some historians believing the breed was used by the Romans as they marched across Europe. They have long been used to herd livestock and get their German name Rottweiler Metzgerhund, which means Rottweil Butcher's Dogs, because they were used to not only control farm animals but also pull the carts full of meat to the local markets. Now vehicles are used to perform that role. They are still commonly used as herding dogs around the world, but have also proven effective as guard dogs, police dogs, and assisting search and rescue teams. This is because they are highly intelligent and obedient, and are always wanting to please their owners. 
Their power and strength, however, have led to them gaining a rather unfortunate reputation, and ownership is restricted in a number of countries. They grow up to around 27 inches tall, weighing up to 132 pounds, and have a bite force of up to 328 pounds per square inch. And usually, when taken care of by a loving family, they are as gentle as any other breed. In cases where they're subjected to abuse, neglect, or a complete lack of training, however, their natural hunting and survival instincts may emerge, and that's when they become potentially very dangerous. Number 5. Leonberger Originally bred in the city of Leonberg in Germany, Leonbergers are a huge breed of dog, often growing to be around 30 inches tall and weighing up to 170 pounds. Their striking appearance and long fur meant that, according to legend, they were kept as a show dog that looked like the lion in the city's coat of arms, but they were also found to be strong enough to carry out various roles, such as pulling carts. Amazingly, despite being a relatively popular breed now, they almost completely died out during the 20th century, with only five individuals believed to have been alive following the First World War after their breeders fled or became involved in the war effort. Their numbers increased in the build-up to the Second World War, but again plummeted, this time because they were used to pull ammunition carts, and therefore often found themselves in the crossfire. With a bite force of 399 pounds per square inch, they certainly have the ability to fend for themselves if need be. Fortunately, they can easily be trained and socialized to become wonderful pets, and are said to have one of the best temperaments of all breeds. But without the right environment around them, they may soon use their size and power to their advantage, and begin to lash out at anyone they come into contact with. Number 4. Kengal Kengals have been around for thousands of years in the region around Sivas, Turkey, where they were instrumental in protecting livestock from the threat of wolves. To perform this role effectively, they were selectively bred to increase their size and strength, so much so that they're able to overpower virtually any wild animal that could pose a threat. Growing up to 32 inches tall and weighing up to 140 pounds, they are huge. And combine this with the most powerful bite force of any breed, a reported 743 pounds per square inch, and you can see why they are potentially dangerous. Kangals are independent spirits that, if trained properly, will be caring, controlled, and protective. They're highly intelligent and quick learners, and show so little fear that they're even used in Namibia to defend against cheetah attacks. Poorly socialized Kengals, however, can be a danger to anyone they encounter. If they're able to take down a dangerous wild animal, just imagine what they could do to a human if they were so inclined. Luckily, though, there are very few reports of Kangals attacking people, so if you ever see one, there's no need to be concerned. Number 3. American Pitbull the American Pitbull is a breed that has descended from similar types of dogs in Britain, but has since taken on its own unique characteristics. Growing to around 20 inches tall and weighing up to 60 pounds, they are known for their extremely muscular bodies, and in some cases their unpredictable temperament. It's because of this that ownership of this breed is restricted in several countries around the world, and is outright banned in the UK, Ontario and Canada, and some US states. With a bite force of 235 pounds per square inch, there are certainly other breeds that are more powerful, but statistically speaking, pit bulls have been proven to be one of the most dangerous towards humans. In a study that looked at human fatalities as a result of dog behavior between 1979 and 1998, pit bull type dogs were associated with as many as 67% of all incidents. And the authors pointed out that they by no means constitute 67% of dogs that are kept as pets across the country. This shows there's something about this breed that makes them more dangerous than others. But the cause isn't entirely clear, or it could be that they are the breed of choice for irresponsible owners who train them poorly. One thing's for certain, if pit bulls are brought up in a loving, caring home, they can be just as friendly and safe as any other breed. Number 2. American Bandog American Bandog Mastiffs are not a recognized breed of dog as such, but is instead a term used to refer to a crossbreed that falls under the category of a Molosser. Often, for example, one can be a cross between an American Pit Bull and a Neapolitan Mastiff, but there are a number of other varieties too. Because they contain lineage from breeds that have historically been used as fighting dogs, Bandogs have a predisposition to being aggressive and have the bulk to back this up. Often growing to 30 inches tall and weighing as much as 120 pounds, and with a bite force of up to 730 pounds per square inch, it's no surprise that they're often used as guard dogs to protect livestock or possessions. They have a history of use in militaristic capacities too, but quite how long they've actually been around for is not clear. Of course, their temperament completely relies on their owners, and many are perfectly friendly and pose no risk at all. 
Those that have been brought up in harsh surroundings, however, should be taken with caution, because if they don't recognize you and decide that you're a threat, it could cause some serious damage. Number one, wolf hybrid. All dogs descend from wild wolves, but there's one breed that retains more of its wild instincts than any other, the wolf dog. The result of crossing a domestic dog with one of the four main species of wolf, they can exist in a wide range of shapes and sizes depending on their exact DNA makeup. Their temperament is equally as varied, and you might find a hybrid that's as calm and as obedient as most relaxed domesticated breeds, or on the other hand, it could be instinctually aggressive and completely unsuitable to be around the home. It is therefore impossible to say whether an individual will be dangerous or not but with some able to bite with an estimated force of up to 406 pounds per square inch, you'll definitely want to make sure it's friendly before you get too close to it. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.